vanish. Hey, what's happening to you guys? Paris here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going to be looking at a bunch of new jutsus that have been revealed for Shinobi Strikers, specifically for each of the classes in the game. So, we have one for the attack types, and for the Uchiha types, the defense types, and the healer types. So, without further ado, I'm gonna, gonna be pretty much just giving you guys my thoughts and opinion on them, whether or not they're gonna break the game, and um whether or not I personally would use the Jutsus if I was playing those particular class types. Now, we're gonna start things off with the attack types. Now, the attack types actually got a pretty interesting Jutsu, and this Jutsu didn't really show up in a, I guess, mainline story. It actually was a filler um, Jutsu. And this was used against, well, yeah, it was used against Rock Lee, and it was a character that kind of had the same similar type of technique as Rock Lee, except for this technique is called the Seven Heavenly Breath or something like that. Essentially, he calms down his breathing and is able to achieve a similar state as to the um, Eight Gates, essentially. Now, we don't know if this technique will actually heal the, um, the player as he's using it, but I do like the aura and the aesthetic behind it. It looks like you're about to go Super Saiyan or it looks like you're about to activate the Buju um, stage mood or whatever, but it is a very interesting jutsu. Now, um, when we go down, we see two screenshots and we see two techniques. Now, I am not gonna sit here and pretend that I actually did the translation. I watched a bunch of videos and I got the gist as to what it could be, but we don't have to. 100% confirmation of what they are. Some people are speculating that this could be uh, Minato's um, kunai um, jutsu where he's able to kind of teleport literally anywhere where he places the kunai. Um, another people are speculating that this could just be Rock Lee's or my guy's natural speed. But I'm kind of thinking this might just be freaking um, Shisui's body flicker. Now if you like Based on the, the, the description that we see, well, that we have been speculating, it says that you are able to move um, at a rapid speed in any direction. Now, when you really think about it, um, Minat Minato's technique doesn't really allow you to move in any direction like that unless you've placed the kunai ahead of time. And I, I don't think they'll add, you know, Rock Lee's and my guy's natural speed as a jutsu. It doesn't really make sense. So I feel like the next jutsu to choose from would be the body flicker, which I think would be a pretty dope ass um, technique to have. Now, the reason why it may or may not be the body flicker, you know, essentially, is if you look at the second screenshot on the right, you see the main guy, the attack type, doing a swift kick, knocking back the opponent and also the description kind of reads that this jutsu will break through um, blocking essentially so I don't know if the body flicker can do that um, it could very well be flash step as well which I, I, don't, I don't know I don't think that's a technique like I think I just made that up flash step but essentially it looks pretty cool um, if it's a but if it's a body flicker I'm definitely choosing it I'm choosing this jutsu as well, but mostly because it just looks cool. Um, but yeah, now the attack type still have the still have a few more jutsu under their belt. We have um, the lightning cloak, which was used by I believe to Raikage or one of or pretty much all the previous Raikages can use this technique. I think, anyways, uh, and essentially I think it's it's been described. In the anime, maybe I'm thinking I'm just making this description up, but as the ultimate attack and defense type. Anyways, it's a very powerful jutsu in the anime, so I, so I would presume that it's going to be a powerful jutsu in game as well. I think it's a pretty dope jutsu, and I think it's one of the jutsus I feel like most attack types will be using because it will enable them to be really fast and deal a lot more damage than they can previously do without the jutsu. Um. Another cool aspect is that we're gonna be getting a summoning jutsu, so the attack types I believe will be able to will be able to summon a snake. And well, I don't know what the snake is gonna do. Is it gonna spew poison? Is it gonna to do what the snake 
um, of Sasuke did, and actually, if you think back, if you think back of um, Shin, no, how's that? Shin no Strikers. If you think back of Storm Four, we doing one of the boss battles. Sasuke's snake literally just spinned on the ground, and he did a bunch of damage to those minion, mini uh, monsters. I don't, I don't remember the names, but that could be what he's gonna be able to do. Maybe spin around. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the snake is gonna do. It's gonna do something cool, but um, yeah. And obviously we have the Waikiri as an alternative jutsu. So um, actually, let me be let me actually be more precise when with let me go back actually. So the, I believe that the big screen images are the ultimate jutsus, and the small screen images are just regular jutsus that you can equip. So if you see this jutsu and if you see this jutsu and you're thinking, oh shit, everyone's gonna be OP. These are ultimate jutsus that you cannot spam. So that kind of helps kind of negate any feeling of oh my god they, they're gonna be spamming this shit all over the place but no I don't think so. Um now I think that's all for the attack types if I'm not wrong. And um, we're gonna be moving on to the Uchiha types. So the Uchiha types basically the big screen the big picture here kinda looks like Fire Style Majestic Flame Jutsu. It has to be. There's nothing else that could fit that description. It literally looks like the Majestic Flame Jutsu, which is actually super awesome. I was hoping to freaking cheesecake that, that, that they would add this Jutsu in the game, and they did. So, the, this could also mean that Madara Uchiha might be in the game. I don't know. But um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, now, the regular Jutsus, you have... I don't know what the fuck this is. This is, looks like a flame... Flame Troy Jutsu. I've never seen an Uchiha use this before. Or any fire style wielder use this type of Jutsu. I think this may have just been a made-up Jutsu. Or it could be I don't know. But the next the the one on the right is definitely Phoenix Flower Jutsu. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what the one on the left is. Ugh, it looks like a made-up jutsu. It could be I have no idea. This actually looks wild to me. Like it doesn't even look very efficient. <laughs> If I'm being honest with you, um, it could be a regular fireball jutsu actually, and this is just a trail that came after it, because we know we know that there's a fireball jutsu in the game, and if they're showing us the phoenix flower jutsu, it could mean that this other one is a fireball jutsu. I don't know. I'm just um, making assumptions here, but this is my favorite jutsu. This this is my favorite jutsu. I feel like this will be the, a really awesome ultimate type jutsu to use. But then they go and take it up a notch. They go and add the Susano. Sasuke Susano. And essentially when you're in this state, you'll have a couple of options, I believe. You have an option to use certain amount of arrows and certain different types of arrows. So a lot of people probably seen this and thinking, oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. Everyone's gonna be spamming um the Susano, but I don't think so. I feel like people are gonna be equipping this is another out of sheer fact that you know it's an epic jutsu. We've seen it used in the anime, so we all want to be the Uchiha. But essentially, this is an ultimate jutsu, so we don't have to worry about this being spammed at all. So the Uchiha class and as OP, well, they're, they're kind of OP already with them being a range type, but they're they're not too OP. Now the Uchiha class also have a summoning jutsu, and this is a salamander summoning, and I have no idea what the salamander is gonna do. But it, it'll probably just spew out poison or spew out fire style jutsu or some type of thing. I don't know what it's gonna do, but this salamander looks ugly as hell, so I'm probably not gonna equip it. Yes, I am judging it by its looks. Um, don't at me. Um, and then we have the lightning something, lightning stream jutsu, I believe. I'm pretty sure that that's the lightning. Um, no, I think it's the Chidori True Spear, to be honest, really. Um, yeah, I think it's the Chidori, um, Chidori, Chidori True Spear. It was a cool jutsu. I'm personally not gonna equip it, but whatever. So moving on to the defense type. So the defense type has. I think the defense. I think this jutsu is literally Sakura's jutsu. If I'm being honest, because if you look at the ground, it's emitting chakra, and who else can punch the ground so hard? That they can create this type of effect. It could be Sunada's Jutsu, it could be Sakura's Jutsu, but it's one of those two. 
So it's pretty cool. Like I'm not gonna knock it down because Sakura uses it. Like if you're knocking down jutsus because Sakura uses it, then you're you're, you're something else. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. But if I was a defense type, I would definitely equip this. I feel like it has a good range, good AOE to hit everyone. So that's something you need in a game like this. And then the two mini jutsus are. I think one of them is like a stone armor or something like that. So you encase yourself in a stone. Uh, it's okay. And then you, you have the mud wall jutsu, I believe. It doesn't look very muddy, but it is. It could be the stone wall jutsu, it could be the mud wall jutsu, who knows what it is, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you're the defense type. You're not supposed to be so offensive and flashy. You're supposed to be protecting the team. So, yeah. So the next thing, still defense type, is the. What's it called again? The water prison. What what a prison style jutsu? So we've seen it already. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know how many people you can trap at once. Can you trap the entire team? That's something I've always wondered because when I tried using that jutsu, I couldn't encase everybody, and everybody was really around me. So it is what it is. It's an ultimate. So yeah. Then you have um, the defense type summoning jutsu, which is going to be the toad. Which is interesting enough. As with the toad, you'll be able to kind of like shoot a bunch of water style jutsu, and you can control the, the well, you can c control where it's going to be shooting at. So I think that's pretty interesting. I like how all the um, types, the classes, uh, if you want to call them that, all have their own unique summoning jutsu that they can equip. Um, I feel like so far, personally, the defense type has, uh, in, my, in my opinion. The, um, the best summonings. I kind of wish they took out the salamander for the Uchiha types and gave them the hawk. I mean, let's be honest, the, the range type is the Uchiha type, so you might as well give them the Uchiha hawk, I'm just saying. And another jutsu um, on the right, I think people are speculating this to be the rotation, because according to the, des the description, it, it reads something in the lines of spin around and knock your enemy back i mean come on only the rotation can do that all right so lastly is and most importantly actually when you play the game you realize just how important the healer types are so the healer types have the their ultimate jutsu is some type of ceiling trap jutsu where anyone that's within this you know, tetragram or, or whatever it's called, gets sealed up and they can't move essentially given the attack type, the range type, the opportunity to lay out their ultimate. So if you kind of, if you can synch synchronize this well, you can get a confirmed ultimate with this. And the two regular jutsus are, I think one of them could be, I have no idea what that other one could possibly be. I think if I were to guess in a sense, I think it may be. I have no idea if I'm being honest with you. It looks like Ino's possession jutsu, but but the hand sign doesn't really make sense. Uh, well, it stuns the opponent anyway, so that's all that matters, to be honest with you. Um, the one on the right is obviously a healing jutsu. We've used it so many times in the battle. Um, the next screenshot, this is the most interesting one. This is the most interesting one to me. It's game jutsu, and when you get when you get hit with this, you see a bunch of flies flying around. It affects your perception of reality. I think this is a really clever way of introducing game jutsu into, into this game because when we first found out that we can use, uh, we, sorry, when we first found out that we could use the Sharingan, the Renegade, all that stuff. Naturally, we were all kind of expecting would we be able to use some type of genjutsu with it and stuff like that, but we all thought that we couldn't use genjutsu because of the way that they implemented the Sharingan and the Renegade and all that stuff. But it actually turns out that with this, genjutsu is a possibility. So I don't know what iconic genjutsus we could probably see. We're definitely not going to be seeing the Tsukiyomi now. Uh, that, that's a little bit, that's a little bit advanced. But yeah, that looks pretty cool to be honest. Really. And only those who got, who got hit by this jutsu can see this, so that's actually really cool. I wonder how you, you would be able to save your teammates if they get caught with this genjutsu. Do you just move past them? Do you do something? Who knows? Now the healer type have their own 
um, summoning jutsu. I believe this one is called uh, the Katsui. Katsui? Katsui? Kats something. Katsui. It sounds like Katsui to me. And obviously, as long as that slug stays on the battlefield, you can heal your opponents. Basic stuff. And the last picture on the screen looks like an air palm jutsu or something like that. I think it's air palm jutsu. It looks like an air palm jutsu. The type of fine style that um, the Hyuga class tends to use. So that's all the jutsu that were revealed in this new up update. Personally, I feel like, let me see. The attack type have honestly some of the most versatile jutsus, I believe. Like they, they are looking pretty powerful. But then the Uchiha class, you know. See, the thing is. Fire style jutsus are my favorite type of jutsu, so I'm gonna definitely gonna be playing as the Uchiha class because I have no choice. Like, I mean, if I had to choose between the Majestic Flame Jutsu and the Susano, I would go with the Majestic Flame Jutsu because I'm re I really don't want to be a Sasuke clone, I want to be I just want to be a fire wielder. I'm gonna be honest with you, I want to be a fire wielder. Um, okay, let's okay, because it, in this game. It encourages you to have four builds for each of those classes so having just one build doesn't really make sense so you have to adapt so for me okay let's start for the attack types um, I'm not really feeling the Odama Rezengan I used it in the um, I used it in the better wasn't really feeling it so if this Jutsu is cool I might use this seventh heaven breeder whatever <laughs> whatever it's called I might use that um, in terms of normal jutsu, I would probably, if this is the flicker, if this one on the left is the flicker, the body flicker, I would definitely have this. 100%, it has to be on my build, definitely. The one on the right, it literally looks like the leaf hurricane, I f I, it, it has to be. The, like, I know the two of them have been described as, you know, they've been described as speed techniques, but I don't think they're the same jutsu. I think the one on the on the left could be the body flicker because if you can move at any direction that you want it has to be the body flicker um, leaf hurricane um, it's a dope jutsu but i'm not really feeling it so i probably will replace this with the um either the resengan yeah yeah the resengan um i'm gonna try this the lightning cloak maybe yeah, I'm gonna have to try the two of them out. Like I, have to, I need to try the two of them out to see which one is dope. But if the light, if the lightning cloak isn't as dope as I want it to be, I'll definitely be putting this one here. Summoning jutsu, uh, Aikiri. Uh, I mean, it's a dope jutsu, and I feel like the tracking is going to be insane on this one here. <laughs> it's definitely going to be insane. Um, for the Uchiha class, I've already talked about it. This will be my ultimate if it's very good. Um, if it's not, then we're going with this. We already know. Or maybe it touches this. I don't know. Too many options. Too many options. I don't know what the fuck this is on the left, but definitely not. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's just go with this one, actually. We'll have to see. There has to be more jutsu. It's, it's too soon to tell. <laughs> it's too soon. For the defense type, I think this will be the ultimate. Let me just make sure. Yeah, this one. This is definitely going to be the ultimate for the defense type. It's the most coolest and the most destructive one in my opinion. I don't know what the fuck this thing on the left is, so nah. This is on the left, nah. Um, rotation will definitely be on that list. That it's, it's going to be on the build. You can't, oh you know what, in fact, this will be the ultimate. And these two on the bottom will be the jutsus. Because that's just how it is. For the healer type, um... I, I kind of want to use this. I feel like it's going to be fun to put people in genjutsus and have them panicking. Um, I mean, I don't like this jutsu on the right. I feel like if I'm going to have something like that, I would rather go with the summoning jutsu. That way, Katsu will do the healing while I focus on something else. I feel like that's just the best option. Um, Air Palm would be pretty dull because I feel like the healers don't have too many offensive options. And this would be pretty dope. But that's it for me because I think I think I kind of talked a little bit too long. Um, let me know your jutsu selection or what you think these jutsus are going to be. 
And um, yeah, I'm Paris and I'll catch you guys next time.